Have you ever wondered what your cup of coffee is made of? Or wondered where that aroma is coming from? Because when we wonder, thoughts are coming through and we feel like checking out the internet for some answers, right? Because when we wonder, we feel like researching for it. And in this subject, we will search for answers scientifically. I am Teacher Love will help you fall in love with the rigors of research. So prepare your references, pen and paper, but most importantly, brace yourself for this gamified inquiries, investigations, and immersion. Have you experienced conducting research? Or will you be conducting research anytime soon? How will you start? What do you need? As for me, I need a cup of coffee. I look for its benefits from the internet, and one of which is that it stimulates the central nervous system because of its caffeine acting as mild stimulant. It works wonders in improving mental performance. Exactly what we might need while conducting research, right? But would you imagine how they were able to report and determine how a cup of coffee stimulates mental performance? Probably, they conducted research. A research is defined by Merriam-Webster as a careful or diligent search, a studious inquiry or examination or an act of collecting information about a particular subject. Cresswell in 2008 also defined research as, I quote, a process of steps used to collect and analyze information to increase our understanding of the topic or issue. For the entire semester, you are expected to carefully and diligently conduct a research report and report your findings. For the entire semester, you are expected to carefully and diligently conduct a research project and report your findings. Expect that you will brainstorm for research topics. You will read on related literature and studies. You will also identify the problem and ask questions while carefully adhering to ethical standards of research. You will also collect data, find answers to research questions, and report your findings conclusions, and recommendations. And today, I will guide you in brainstorming topics and research agenda for your research project. What is brainstorming? It is a group problem-solving technique where inputs and contributions of all members of the group are being consolidated to come up with a decision. But just a reminder that since we are in a challenging time brought by the pandemic, you have the liberty to choose if you would like to work with a group or conduct a research project on your own. If you do, brainstorming is still possible, where you can ponder over ideas in an attempt to find solutions to a problem. Don't be overwhelmed by brainstorming as a difficult task, because it is not. It might be just like how you decide on what to cook for tonight. When your mom opened the fridge and said, Guys, chicken or pork? Then that would say, Are potatoes still good? Yes, Dad. We have three and we also have eggs, you said. Mom responded, Chicken or pork adobo tonight? Coming from a basketball game, your brother said, Can we have chicken and pork? And there you go. The family have brainstormed for their dinner. Remember that they have a problem to solve, which is... Correct. What will be the dinner? Then, they gathered ideas and information which enabled them to come up with having chicken and pork adobo as the resolution. We brainstorm even in simple things in life by asking questions, inquiring, and seeking for answers in day-to-day -day situations. 
but in conducting research, what do we brainstorm for? Yes, we brainstorm for research agenda. It will allow you to identify your research priorities, which may eventually lead to a successful research. It outlines a clear plan from the beginning of a research study. Graziani in 2018 has listed down a few things to remember before brainstorming your research agenda. First, don't be scared. You just need to start from your natural curiosity, reading the background, and having conversations with fellow students and teachers can help you to clarify your ideas and to define your research questions. Holland in 2017 shared that as students, inquiry requires generating your own driving questions, seeking out answers, and exploring complex problems. With that, research becomes a component of inquiry which allows you to undergo the process of finding the answers. Remember, in the situation earlier, what is the driving question of the mother? What will be cooked for dinner? With that, it moved the family to look for answers, which eventually is chicken and pork adobo. Second, focus on the topics that are important to you. It might be easier to work on something that really interests you or something that you really care about. In case that you will be working with others, make sure to work with them hand in hand. Since the subject of an inquiry should be relevant or meaningful to you, innovative, or can be of help and use to others and the community, and novel or new and timely, Consider the power of an essential question. It may not require a single answer, but it may spark more questions. If you are a technical, vocational, and livelihood student specializing in information and communications technology, then consider questions related to your own field. For example, how might we conveniently conduct home quarantine monitoring through real-time application software. Is it relevant? Yes, home quarantine protocols should be monitored. Is it innovative? Yes, by conveniently monitoring the home quarantine protocols, it is innovative. Is it new? It might be new as there is a continuous upgrading of real-time monitoring of home quarantine protocols. If you are an ABM student, Ask questions on accounting, business, or management areas. For instance, your question is, how might we improve the sales of Kabayan Bakery through marketing strategies? Is it relevant? Yes, microbusiness might face challenges because of the pandemic. Is it innovative? It might be, depending on the framing of the research output. Is it new? Yes. You might find out some novel marketing strategies as you conduct research. Remember that you can start right by asking essential questions related to your strand. Third, embrace flexibility. You should keep the agenda flexible by seeking alternatives and exploring opportunities. An agenda which remains up-to-date regarding trends and future directions will improve the longevity of the outcome. Fourth, refine your focus. If you think that you have already prepared an agenda, rethink, re-evaluate, and refine. This way, you may have a specific topic to focus on. But how can you refine the focus of your research agenda? Just remember these five W's. What? What is the focus of the research you want to conduct? Why? Why do you want to dwell on researching on that specific area? Who? Who will be the participants or respondents who may be the sources of your data? Where? Where are you going to conduct your research? When? When are you going to do your research? 
By asking those five questions, you may come up with a research agenda. Take this for example. You are in a sports track. What do you want to study? I want to study esports. What about esports? I want to find out if esports qualifies as a sport. Which qualifications would you want to check out about esports? I want to study esports structure against team sports structure. Who do you want to seek answers from? I want to study the perceptions of PE teachers as to the structure of esports against team sports requiring physical presence. Did you notice how the red definition process took place? Just keep on asking questions. Challenge yourself to think of how you can focus your agenda into something specific but flexible. Let us take another example. You are in agri-fishery arts. What interests you? I want to study urban agriculture. What specifically in urban agriculture do you want to know about? I want to study how feasible urban agriculture is in condominiums. Who will be the sources of the information you are looking for? Urban agriculture enthusiasts living in condominiums. How will you gather information about your inquiry through interviews and demonstrations? What is now the focus of your study? You want to study the feasibility of urban agriculture in condominiums as demonstrated by enthusiasts. As you brainstorm for the research agenda, just keep on inquiring on topics which interest you the most. And remember how detailed and specific the research agenda should be. I hope you are now excited to begin your research project. Let us play a game and get out of the maze by correctly identifying if the statement is true or false. Number 1. Research may start from a simple situation, an observation, a hypothesis, or an existing problem. If your answer is true, then you are correct. Research is a way of life. Therefore, it may start from usual things around us. Number two, research is the process of finding answers to an inquiry. If your answer is true, then you got it right. Research will be dependent on the inquiries, but inquiries may only be answered through the process of research. Number three, to successfully start a research, Ask any question regardless of the senior high school strand. If you answered false, then you are correct. It is vital that you ask questions that are related to your strand you belong to. Number four. When thinking about the research project, there are five W questions to ask. If you answered true, then you are right. By asking the 5W questions, you may have started planning the research project. Number 5. My research project should be about something ambitious and big. If your answer is false, you are correct. Your research project doesn't really need to be that ambitious in terms of depth and coverage, but it may be something simple yet helpful to your target community. If you have answered five questions correctly, then you have successfully solved the maze. At this point, you are now ready to kickstart your research project by asking three big questions from a problem related to your field. Try this activity. Kindly draw a circle in the mid portion of your notebook. Write the first big question you can think of, making sure that it is specific and related to your strand. For example, a technical vocational and livelihood student 
specializing in electrical installation and maintenance may ask, how can we ensure safety while doing electrical installations during hands-on activities? After that, draw five more bubbles around your big question. Then answer the five W questions we asked earlier. Then on the bubbles, the EIM student may answer the W questions like, what is the focus of your research you want to conduct? Ensuring safety while doing electrical installations. Why do you want to dwell on researching on that specific area? Safety of EIM students is important while having some hands-on installation activities. Who will be the participants or respondents as the target sources of your data? Grade 12 EIM students Where are you going to conduct your research? Specific Public Senior High School offering TVL EIM When are you going to do your research? Second semester of school year 2020 and 2021 then, do the same process for the other two big questions. Finally, you may remotely brainstorm with your research project group mates by deciding which among your big questions will you push as your research project. Or, you may also brainstorm on your own if you have decided to conduct the research alone. Also, show your big question activity to your teacher and when your teacher approves any of the research agendas you have presented, then you may take a cup of coffee and celebrate your progress. Let us have the next portion where you will be exposed with research abstract of published studies in 3, 2, 1. Research abstract in focus. Research title, Attitudes of Senior High School Students Towards Research, an Exploratory Study. Researcher, Mark Joshua D. Rojas. Date published, May 19, 2020. Publisher, SSRN. Abstract, research is the foundation of knowledge and innovation. In the Philippine basic education landscape, research-infused curriculum was implemented in the senior high school to inculcate research culture among learners. Thus, this convergent parallel mixed method study explored the attitudes of grade 12 senior high school students towards research and its relationship to their academic performance. Papa Nastasio's revised attitude towards research or RATR scale was administered to 100 randomly selected grade 12 senior high school students to gather quantitative data. Open-ended questionnaire was utilized to gather qualitative data from 10 senior high school students. Data were analyzed using descriptive statistics and Pearson correlation coefficient. Excerpts from the qualitative data were provided to support the statistical analysis of data. Results revealed that the students have a generally positive attitude towards research, albeit the high level of anxiety that they experience. RATR scale attitude domains showed low to high degree of relationship with each other. Conversely, students' attitude towards research did not show a significant relationship with students' academic performance in practical research too. The results yielded by this research may be used as a basis for a more efficient delivery of research-related courses in the senior high school. Presenting your research agenda to your teacher will help you decide what research you are going to conduct and how to successfully seek answers to your big questions. You and your group mate may be guided well if you got smart research agenda. Specific, it should gear towards seeking answers to a particular inquiry. 
measurable. There should be an instrument to gather and observe data objectively. Attainable, it should be easily answered when appropriate procedures are followed. Realistic, it should be possible to be carried out. And time-bound, it should be narrowed within a reasonable time frame or let's say not more than one semester. And be reminded by Charles Kettering when he said, and I quote, Research means you don't know, but are willing to find out. Next week, let's find out how to conduct research while following ethical standards. See you on our next Gamified episode for increased investigations and immersion. I'm Teacher Love for Deputy TV.